In this lesson I'm going to show you how to uh, import <coughs> video or um, audio from uh, the hard drive. So you don't need to connect your camera up each time to uh, import something, providing that the uh, file you're importing is uh, in, the, in a format that Windows Movie Maker will recognise. And uh, that's easily enough worked out. If we go to import video if we look down the bottom here you can see all these different formats multimedia formats that uh, Windows Media Player will sorry Windows Movie Maker will accept <coughs> um, now if we look up here we'll just change that to thumbnail so I can see my little images there of what I've got on the screen how about we uh, we'll just um, grab one of those and import that now these are AVI clips, have their uh, mini DV AVI, they've just been uh, directly dragged off the uh, off the camera and put onto the hard drive. <coughs> if you look at this here, we've got, uh, you won't see anything over here, you'll see a black box at the moment, I can see a picture there but uh, with the screen capture it doesn't show it until I actually place this down in the timeline. So if you look down here we've got show timeline, what we're looking at here is what's called the storyboard. The storyboard is where you just drag and drop a video down into the box there. The timeline is the more conventional video editing tool where you can actually see the whole clip there, start and finish of the clip and then the audio the audio track. If you that that little symbol there is a plus sign, means that there's more. Click on that, and there you've got your audio for that particular track there. So I'll just play that a bit. Okay, here we go. Now this can be, um, <coughs> we can import video, we can import pictures, they are still images, and we can import audio or music. The audio can be a voiceover, it can be a backing track. So how about we uh, import some audio. Uh, here we go, this one will do. Now that's imported an MP3 file. We now just drag and drop that down into the uh, audio music track down the bottom there. The only thing you might might need to do, I'll just play through that and you give you an idea. Okay, the uh, the actual sound from the video is probably a bit too strong, so we can go there and we can adjust that. Okay, I'll just do that again. I'll just place my mouse onto the audio from the video, and if you can't see it. Just a minute. If you can't see that, the little plus sign on the video, click on that, and now you see this soundtrack from the video. Place your mouse on it, right click, choose volume, and you can adjust it. <coughs> adjust that volume level down or up, whichever way you want to go. All right, let's play that now and see what we've got. Fine. Now you also do the same thing with your uh, backing audio, v your voiceover or music and we can go and just change the volume on that up or down, whichever way you want to go with that, fade in, fade out. Okay, so that's importing um, video from the hard drive and also uh, music file. So we've got uh, a couple more tracks there, we've got a transition track and a title overlay track which we'll get into a bit later on. But uh, probably yeah, the, the uh, storyboard view, as I said, is, um, sorry, the uh, timeline view is the most common view that you'll see in editing packages. Storyboard view just makes it easy, drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop, just into there. But once you get used to the timeline, it's a far superior method to use to uh, edit video.